border of Karun is in sight. If we keep a steady pace, we'll reach Vindale in three days. What do you intend to do after attaining to the forest? With our strength, even delaying the invasion by Zanon would be difficult, let alone stopping them. We'll warn the people of the forest. They may not have even realized the threat creeping towards them. After that, I don't know. Having our home destroyed is painful, yet part of me believes they should do as they please. Those who took part in the forest's destruction and those who stood on the sidelines and allowed it will realize with despair what they have wrought. But Lanera, what do you think? I can understand how you feel, but I want to stay true to myself until the end. I want to do everything I can to protect the forest. Even if we fail, perhaps we'll leave a bud of hope that will live afterwards. Meanwhile, at the Zanon royal household... How does it feel to destroy your home, Barius? The Uldurna are in Karun and can move at any time. They only wait for orders. Our miscalculations led to the Yerlis not participating. Much of the meaning of this award has was to have the whole world involved. But there won't be any interferences with the invasion, and Vindale isn't prepared for war. Once the forest is gone, I'll leave things in your hands. I intend to hide, though with this body I'm sure I won't stay hidden long. But that's fine. As long as I can leave a scar on Erva, I will be satisfied. Look! There are flames in the forest! Has Zanon already begun the invasion? Hurry, Lamias, head to the forest! Those who are slow to get out or who stayed need to be evacuated. Got it. You, Lanira? I will go to Simon. May gain us nothing to negotiate at this point, but even so, for the sake of the area who are evacuating, if nothing else, I'll earn them time. We will go with Larnair. While the forest still lives, we humans cannot enter. Don't worry, Larnair. We won't allow any soldiers to lay a single finger on you before we reach Sion. Receiving a witch of the radical forest here. Barius, why are you. Where's Simon? Let me talk to him. He is no longer here, nor do I know where he has gone. I have taken command. Unfortunately for you, I have no intention of negotiating. I know it's too late to stop the flames, but please stop attacking the Elia who are escaping the forest have weapons with which to resist. I said I would not negotiate, but I am different than him. If no one stands in the way of our goal, then there's no need for bloodshed. Lord Barrius, the distress signal has gone up from the forest. I'm afraid a group got lost in the smoke, and after coming into contact with the forest miasma, are unable to escape. Inside the forest? Leave them. The forest is still alive. Don't bother me with every little message. Tell me where the signal came from. I'll help. <laughs> I'm confusing. You intend to save those who burn your home and store your kin? This is unnecessary. Don't you hate them for what they're doing? Let go of my arm, Bethel. It's precisely because of this situation that I must go. I must show that even for those who can't understand each other, who can't abandon the idea that possibilities exist beyond a simple wall of hatred and distrust. I'm begging you. Please, Lord Harry, don't go. If you enter the forest, I won't be able to follow you. I won't be able to protect you. Will you once again carve the pain of that day into my heart? If I abandon them here, then I have betrayed myself as well as the Elish that you loved. I know that it cannot be only sorrow that she brought you. Goodbye, White Walk of Aldehyde. No matter how many tears you shed from 
payment for the wounds upon your wings. I pray that the day will come when you will be able to fly once more. At the end of every adventure lies a new journey. The Findale Forest was lost. Though the people who heard the news praised the Prince of Zanon, the world began to change. Unknown illnesses began to spread, crops withered, and dry winds raged. By the time people began to notice these strange occurrences, Barrios of Zanon and a female Elga, a survivor of the war, standing witness before the Imperial Court. The woman told the world the truth. The Vindale Forest, which people had referred to as the Heretical Forest, had been suppressing the power of the Meshera. And with the destruction of the forest, Irva would soon change to become uninhabitable by all peoples. The people of Irva were taken aback by this testimony. Some were heartbroken, others filled with regret, and as always, Others cared not at all. Dark times had come to Sierra Terra. But not all hope was lost. It was as Barrius said, another heretical forest was left in Irva. Strangely, it was something that Simor had created for research, when still the second prince of Zanon. The country of Zanon, which had led the attack on Vindale, split and the community of Rosuria, ruled by Barrius, was born. Rosuria would cultivate the forest, promote peace, and without regard for borders, allow people to visit the forest and be cured of their disease. The promised land of Rosuria was expected to become the Utopia of Irva. Three years later... You have wandered from country to country, and like the first time you visited North Tyrus, you slipped upon a merchant ship headed for Port Kapool. Three years have brought many changes. The scars left on Irva are deep. Although the sadness may never be overcome, over time the towns regained their bustle, and the people have forgotten the nightmare, or at least behave as if they have. Rosuria has become corrupted. With the salvation they offered, Rosuria attracted great wealth as well as the interest of many countries like the Yerlis, and Rosuria was left at their mercy. Even with the world headed towards destruction, Irva could not be united under Rosuria. With each country plotting and planning, new dark clouds of dispute have begun to cover Irva. And now, your journey into the shadow of confusion covering Irva is about to begin. You spent a great deal of time deciphering the writing of truth discovered in Lysimus, and discovered that between the era of Remido and the previous civilization, an unknown era known as the Nakodumura existed. It was in this time that chaos and magic were brought to Irva, as well as the time that holds the keys to the mysterious civilization of Nephia. As you land in Port Kapool, the nostal nostalgic cool winds of North Tyrus brush against your face. You take a step forward. In your future, a wondrous yet difficult adventure concerning the Eternal League of Nephia awaits. Part 1 End, Eternal League of Nephia Plus. Part 2, The Shadow of Calamity. Your journal has been updated.